The Health Secretary Matt Hancock announced today that he's looking at all possible solutions towards upping the vaccination rate, including compulsory vaccines for children. Now, if you know me from old, you may be aware that I was quite vaccine sceptical for a few years. Uh, after doing a load of research on both sides of the argument, I came to the conclusion about a year ago that vaccines are beneficial to health. And I do believe that the benefits far outweigh the risks for most people. There are some people who will have adverse reactions, who will react to these vaccines badly and will have developed illnesses and diseases and disorders and stuff. But those people I think are quite rare. And therefore I do believe that vaccines are beneficial to health. But this, this idea for me, it's not about health, it's not about illness or disease or preventing disease. I think it's about, the problem that I draw is, it's the government telling you, this is what's best for your child, this is what you are having, like it or not. Regardless of what you think of the whole vaccine debate, regardless of what you think of anti-vaxxers or pro-vaxxers or whatever they may be, regardless of what you think of that, you should be worried that the state is trying to tell people what to do with their children, trying to tell people what is best for their children and then trying to legally enforce it. That is what I'm concerned about. That is my issue. I have the same attitude when it comes to the state telling parents that they can't take their kids on holiday during term time. A child is the responsibility of their parents. Therefore, parents should be given free reign over decisions such as vaccination, such as holidays. It's not, you know, it's up to the parents, regardless of what you think of their decision. If a, if a parent says to you, my child's not having the chicken box chat, for instance, you may think that's completely idiotic, completely moronic, completely irresponsible. And, and you're perfectly entitled to have that opinion. You are not entitled to force that parent to have that jab. Ironically, I've never ever spoken in all my years researching vaccinations and their, and their potential side effects, etc., and their benefits. Never ever spoken to a single anti-vaxxer who has demanded that vaccines be denied, that someone not be allowed to vaccinate their child. I've never spoken to a single vaxxer, anti-vaxxer, that demands that. I've spoken to countless people who are in favour of vaccines that advocate mandatory vaccination. I don't believe for a second that unvaccinated people are this massive health risk plague that a lot of people make them out to be. I don't believe that for a second. I don't believe that vaccinated children are completely protected because they're not. Vaccinated people are not completely protected against whatever illness. It just prevents them getting it as severe as, as, as they would have it or as they potentially have it unvaccinated. So I don't believe any of the the extremities, one, one that says vaccinated children you know, are perfectly protected and one that says unvaccinated children are these little plague carrying pests that are going to affect everyone. I believe that everyone you meet, regardless of whether they're vaccinated or unvaccinated, they carry an equal risk of being ill and, and passing an illness onto you. That's what I believe. I do not think that the state should be allowed to tell you what is best for your child and then enforce it by law. That stinks, that reeks of des despotism and almost Orwellian type practice. So regardless of what you think of the whole vaccine debate, whether you're pro-vax, anti-vax, whatever it is, you should be concerned by that. That's just my two pennies. I know this is, this is a heated subject, that's why I stopped debating it a long time ago, but I just wanted to get my two pennies out of there. The government telling you this is what you're doing to your child. This is what's happening. That is worrying, and you should be concerned by that. Thanks for watching. Be nice in the comments. I know it's going to get heated, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.